So here's the setup I've got for milling my uh, camshaft for my horizontal twin. I've got to do four cam lobes and uh, I've got it mounted in my fourth axis here in my milling machine. Uh, I've got the uh, bulk of the cam back inside the uh, fixture. I will cut one lobe then I will pull the uh, uh, loosen the cam from the um, from the fourth axis and pull out till the next lobe is just clear of the ER collet chuck and then cut that one and then so forth. <clears throat> I've got the um, I've got a uh, brass disc with an index mark on it which shows me the zero point so I can always get it back to zero. When I loosen it from the chuck it's probably going to get mis misaligned a little bit so I'll have to use that index point to get it back. I'll also have to move that tailstock, that makeshift tailstock, out to uh, let more of the camshaft out as I get ready to turn it. So um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and uh, fire this thing up. And uh, I've got a, a G code program written in Mach and loaded in Mach 3 that will basically cut this uh, profile. So let me go ahead and start this thing up. Taking off uh, 20 thousandths per pass here till I get down to the uh, just a little bit above the uh, 3 16 inch diameter uh, shaft there. So I'm going down 80 thousandths, which should give me about a 10 thousand clearance or a, a ridge on there. And then I'll start turning the fourth axis. Uh, a little bit at a time and making passes until I've gone most of the way around. There you see the fourth axis just spun and now it's going to go through uh, 26 iterations of this to uh, make it to get to get around. forming uh, a little bit of a radius on the uh, tip of the uh, cam profile. And there it's uh, finished with that load. So here's the um, 
finished camshaft. I've got it sitting with the timing gear on there, although it isn't permanently attached. It's just sitting in there. But here you can see the uh, the four lobes. Now that I've uh, had a chance to uh, get them all cut and uh, polish them up a little bit and file them and sand them down smooth. So I think this is pretty well finished. I don't know if you can see the if you can see the profiles on these or not, probably, probably not. Anyway, there's two inlets, two intake valve lobes, and two exhaust lobes. For, uh, this is for my twin cylinder horizontal engine that I'm in the process of building. Uh, thanks for watching.